Hi guys. The other day one of my friends was asking how much to charge for one electronic service. Uh, he's trying to work in repairings. That's very hard to answer if we are in different countries. Uh, in some countries the price of the electronic equipment is the value of one working day. In other countries the price of the same electronics equipment is the value of two three months of labor. But anyhow, there are some kind of reference we can use. Things are uh, worthy to repair if we are charging 10 to 20 percent. If that electronic uh, device, that electronics equipment has a mine importance and relevant price, we can go even for the 30 percent. For industrial electronics, the price of the service could be between $50 per day, even to $200 to get on place in the same day when you got the call. Because in industrial electronics, it's a lot of money waste if one machine stops. Then it's a worthy market to get in. Anyhow, you must think about a car, a vehicle, and full equipment to give that kind of service on place. It's not the same thing that working with the patients in your electronics laboratory. Audio equipment, just to give an example, professional audio equipment, it will get burned in the middle of the event. And they have an agenda, they have a schedule, they try to fulfill all the days they can with the events. So equipment for audio in professional uh, repairing is something that is in the hurry always. And it has a good price. The same advice, 10-20% of the price of the equipment is worthy for many people. After 50%, people will consider Maybe it's better to trash this uh, piece of uh, junk that is not working anymore and to buy a new one. Many countries they have credit for electronics stuff and they can go and just to sign off and get a credit in the same shop than ever for 20% of the down payment. So we have to compete against it. That's the reason why if you are going lower than 10%, you are losing money. If you are going upper of 20% to 30, you have the chance the client to reconsider repairing versus buying a new one. Never go cheap. And you have to talk with your colleagues. You have to search in the market what is the price somebody's charging for something. The reason why it never goes cheap is because you are losing money. You are not uh, saving enough. You are not winning enough. You don't have enough profit to buy the materials. You waste the solder wire, the electricity, the resources, the flocks, the equipment, the uh, anything you use, the tools. And at the end, you cannot buy them again. So if you realize Everything is getting old, rusty, uh, a lot of damage in your equipment, and you are not recovering from that. If you are in that position, then you are working to get money maybe to eat, but not to, to prosper, not to progress. If tomorrow your tool is broken, and you are lost. You cannot work anymore because you didn't get enough money to get for the future. When we work, we always must think, I have to save at least 30% for taxes. In some countries, taxes that will go at the end of the year for 40 plus percent. You must divide that other half in some money for you and save always some money for the business, for the business maintenance. You need to buy more equipment, resources, material, tools, 
new things in order to advance. So that's the best advice I can give you. 10 to 20% of the price of the product could be a good reference to deal with. Also, depend on the situation charged by the labor day in your country. What, is, what it should be the salary for you divided by the 20 days in the month and you can even divide by hours but my good advice never charge by hours charge by working day in that case i hope it was good for you nice to answer that kind of questions if anybody has a comment please join the comments down below thanks for watching the video see you next time